Yolan Chu and welcome to another exciting day in our galaxy. And today I have another thing for you that they introduced with the newest arc. And as usual, I go through all of those things time after time in the first week after it. And today we need to talk about the new prime nodes and the changes to the prime nodes that were already there that they brought up with Gorn Invasion Part 2. First, I want to quickly have a look at the two new ones. I must say either I'm blind or they will just put them in once they are in the store for sale. Uh, I seriously haven't seen them yet, uh, really, and at least not with those uh, same pictures there. Maybe uh, I'm a little blind sometimes, but the extensions are easier. But there will be a prime wartime morale that will give you um, 20% isolated damage as long as you have morale and with the Gorn and everything else going on, also the PvP and everyone working on isolated defense and isolated damage, that's uh, definitely something nice. All this, is it worth it part, you will have to decide for yourself as long as they are only um, in the shop, for example. And usually new primes uh, in the shop before later on you have a chance to, to get uh, some of them in-game. And there will be Prime Temporal Disruption, which increases the Temporal Disruptor's daily claim by 300%, which is quite nice. Instead of uh, uh, 150, I would get uh, 600 then, if they increase it by 300%. So um, that would be a nice addition, and I really have to have a look at that one um, when it comes there, what it requires, and if I can collect something for it or not. Because it's the same um, with those extended ones. One is the prime research cost efficiency that has uh, a level two extension, which will give you 450% of G3 and G5. What I think is really interesting is the FKR tribute primes with level six and seven, although <laughs> I did not invest a lot in those yet. But it gives you more reputation from killing hostiles and free claims um, with a thousand or two thousand faction credits and uh, reputation claims when you're working on the 15 billion that's probably helpful but if we look in the game um, then you will see that I didn't do that much there no, no didn't want to go there um, the factions the factions the factions here they are because uh, in the beginning with stage one, you get 20% uh, bonuses here and um, a small daily bundle. And for that, I need six star resources. I will get there at some point, um, but I'm not there yet. I only had them once and I used them for the Klingons. But you see, otherwise, I cannot upgrade that. Um, but players level uh, 61 plus will, will definitely just be able to upgrade them um, normally with, with those amounts from uh, what they gain in the game. And um, that is w what I'm always talking about when I say often you just need patience. Of course, you can speed it up by, by paying and if you can afford it, it's a nice thing to do. Um, but for other players that cannot afford it but are playing this game and, and like this game, in time, you will get a lot of those primes that require normal resources just with patience. So don't uh, despair. I sometimes see, see really um, angry comments about the, the paying part and so on. Well, it's a business. I talked about this a, a lot of times and there are things I really am angry about as well. Um, when they sell something, it doesn't do what, what it's supposed to do. but um, there are indeed still a lot of ways for, for um, players that, that cannot pay or don't want to pay any money. The ones I cannot pay, I understand a little bit more. But um, it's possible. It's like with, with other prime researchers I already did. Or if we look at this, um, for example, that has nothing to do with the new ones. But here, those I can collect via um, the game via the, the faction stores, um, you just need to grind a lot. But 
it's as I always say, prioritize, prioritize. Of course, the ones that can spend a lot of money on the game will always have a big advantage, but um, not. that's not the only thing that counts. I mean, you just want to have fun playing the game. But as I said, I haven't found... Uh, I looked through all the different um, research parts, so I didn't haven't found the disruptor thing, for example, the temporal disruptor if I wasn't blind, and uh, I looked through all of them. If I haven't overlooked it here in the in the export part then it might be not there yet if you found it uh, let me know but i looked through all of them but once again they brought in new prime notes and they brought in extensions and it's always up to you to decide do you want to invest money or do you want to have patience to get them because as i said many of those in time in the game you will get that's how i got most of my primes um, that I have just by being patient and just waiting to be on that level to get those resources in game and a few um, I bought because I, I think they were um, quite necessary for me like uh, one of those um, for using less materials for upgrading five star buildings that was really an annoying part and so I did that one at the time but it's always your personal decision you can wait or you can be fast but it's usually up um, decided by by our wallets i guess nevertheless i would like to know your opinion on on prime notes in general here today because the new ones um, are not really there yet i just wanted to to uh, repeat the little um, preview there i included in, in the full preview but I wanted to talk about the Prime Nodes in general as well. What do you think about them? How do you deal with them? Have you bought m most of them? Or are you waiting until you get those in-game? Because that's that's something that's really interesting for me to know how my viewers deal with that. And if you have um, some questions in general or video requests, you know that I regularly read your comments. And if you want to see another video right now, the next one is right here in the end screen. I'll see you there. I'll be back.